This is problem 22.6 from the book and it tells us, asks us to obtain an estimate of the following integral using the five point gauss legendre formula. So the integral is um, from going from 0 to 2 of e to the x sine of x dx over uh, 1 plus x squared. Alright, well the first thing that we need to do is transform the limits of integration. We need, we have something from uh, integral from 0 to 2 and uh, these formulas, the gauss legendre formulas, go um, are only applicable for an integral from uh, negative 1 to 1. So if we want to figure out, and then and then it's of something, right, and we, we, we'll just call that f of x uh, dx. That's what we want to have the form in. And so in order to do that, we have to transform our limits of integration. And uh, we're using the limits a and b again. And we can transform the limits of integration, integration according to the formulas that given in the book. And so the formula is uh, x is equal to b plus a plus b minus a times xd over 2. And uh, so uh, plugging in our values, that means 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus, or plus 2 minus 0 xd over 2. And so we're going to have 2 plus 2 xd over 2. So that would be 1 plus 1 xd over 2 or excuse me, 1 plus 1 xd, and uh, so that's what we get here. And so, um, uh, and then we can find dx, and dx is equal to b minus a over 2, and b minus a, uh, that's 2 minus 0, uh, divided by 2, uh, is 1, so that's going to be just, uh, just dxd is equal to dx. So we don't really have to do anything there. And uh, then we plug that into into our integral and we get uh, the integral from uh, negative or 0 to 2 then e, uh, of e to the x sine x dx over 1 plus x squared. Uh, this was our original and so that uh, now becomes the integral from negative 1 to 1 which is what we had to do get the the new limits of integration of e to the 1 plus x sine of 1 plus x dx uh, or sine of 1 plus x over 1 plus 1 plus x squared dx. All we did is every time we uh, we had an x before uh, we put in this 1 plus x which was uh, the transformation that we came up with. Um, Alright, so now uh, we're ready to apply the, the gauss legendre formulas and in order to do that we have to, uh, we, we, we just look up the values in the table and uh, well before we look at the values, we, we, we see the um, the general formula is the integral is approximately equal to c naught f of x naught plus c one f of x one plus c two f of x two plus c three f of x three plus c four f of x four, and uh, just to make this all fit here nicely, I wrote that as a as a dot product. So that's uh, that's just this times this plus this times this plus this times this plus this times this plus this times this same thing that we've written out here um, but what I did is I've gone to the table uh, and so this is table let's see so these are from uh, table 22 point um, one on page point one on page uh, 646 and that's where we get these values, and these are the values for uh, five-point Le gauss legendre formula, and uh, this is what we get. So uh, the next thing then we have to do is evaluate the function, uh, this function, not this function. We have to evaluate this function uh, at each of these points. Now, how can we do that? Well, uh, probably the the best way to do that is is just uh, we could use a calculator. Uh, I'm going to use MATLAB here, uh, so we switch over to MATLAB, and um, I've I've pre-typed these things in to save a little bit of time, but I'll show you that we have uh, c equals uh, that, and then we have our um, x. These are the uh, x values. X is equal to that, and then um, and then uh, f uh, is just equal to um, e to the 1 plus x times sine of 1 plus x over 1 plus 1 plus x quantity squared and that was our f and so we just 
evaluate at. So all we're doing is evaluating each x at um, you are doing that for each x and so that's our f values and if we do um, our integral is going to equal uh, c uh, transpose times uh, no uh, we want I'm trying to think of what we want we want this to be 1 uh, 1 by 5 so that's actually just c uh, times x transpose and that does not look right. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not C times X transpose, it's C times F transpose. So it's C times F um, because it's F evaluated. And we get 1.9401. Uh, and so then that is exactly what I've written here. So. I've written out 9.04 or 9.401. Okay, so I tacked on a five there. I could show you real quick. Uh, in order to show more uh, decimals, you just say format long. That's enough for the problem. But if we want to show more, you say format long g, and then uh, you get more decimal points. And so you can see that this is this would round to five if we showed one more decimal place. And uh, to go back, you just say format short. And now we, we're back uh, to normal.